I used to watch Invicta since the very first event, uh, and uh, Invicta made a big, um, big jump for women's MMA uh, overall in the world. And uh, it's a huge honor for me to finally fight here. And uh, actually, it always was a dream for me to one day to be in Victor and to fight here. And especially when your debut is uh, for the title, it's just something unreal for me. On the day when I signed contract uh, with Invicta, I knew that uh, one day we were gonna meet because uh, uh, she is uh, one of the top uh, Invicta fighters uh, in bantamweight divisions, and uh, I knew that I kind of knew that uh, our paths were gonna uh, uh, get together. And uh, it's a great matchup. Uh, I know that she uh, likes to fight full rounds uh, and fight for decisions, uh, and uh, I'm totally opposite. I'm always fighting for finishes and we'll see uh, who will win that fight and uh, who will make their fight uh, on that day. for the bantamweight title. Julia Storyorenko versus Lisa Verzosa. Verzosa in the black. Julia Storyorenko, blue front, black back to her shorts. And here we go for the bantamweight title, the armbar specialist versus the grinder. And Storyorenko coming out like it's a one round fight. Very aggressive. Very aggressive. She, she has a lot of first round finishes. She definitely has a oh, nice high kick. That caught her. Another one caught her. Oh, but she runs into a right hand. Back and forth, and she will pull guard looking for that arm bar. Cutting the angle. She's almost got it. Verzosa able to circle out just in time. Man, that head kick right on the money. See Verzosa blinking, another good right hand. Verzosa eating a lot of, not just kicks, but punches as well. And just as you said that, she lands a head kick over the top. Another right hand rocks her. The toughness of Lisa Verzosa. She's got to get out of the way with these brutal punches. She has been a sitting yeah. duck now, rolling for the arm bar again. She is just so creative with her transition. She will throw the arm bar from anywhere. Nice. Oh, right hand again by Rososo. Another one. Dolorenko firing back.
appreciating this fight. So should the fans at home. It's been an absolute war. That's the only way I can describe it. Battle just doesn't do it justice. You see the scores are kind of all over the board. He's Tony Aranko ahead on two judges' scorecards. So some putting everything into every punch. She knows she has to get a finish here. Tony Aranko, I don't see her taking her foot off the gas at all. That's just not how she's wired. The blood that is leaking from the Zosa's face every time she gets hit, it sprays everywhere. But she is so tough and she continues to march forward and she is landing that right hand so well. She hasn't taken a backward step. The cut, the cut has not mattered. The beating she has taken from the right hand of Stoli Renko has not mattered. He has been in it to win it from the beginning. You couldn't ask for a better title fight. It has, you have, we've seen everything. We've seen blood, we've seen people get rocked, we've seen tremendous heart, and both of these ladies are absolute gangsters. It, 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 absolutely incredible. One of the best Invicta fights I have ever seen. Oh my God, what a big shot. Stoli Arenko attacking Rizosa as she's coming in, but Rizosa not backing down. 24 seconds left, the fans here standing up in appreciation. There are fights, there are battles, and there are bloody wars. This is one of the bloodiest wars I have ever seen in my commentating career. Hats off to both of these ladies, and it will go the distance. For the Bantamweight title, you have to give it up right now for Yulia Stoliorenko versus Lisa Verzosa. Both of these fighters put it all on the line. Didžiulė garbėja, pagaliau atnešti didelį titulą Lietuvai. Nes Invicta tai yra iš tikrųjų moterų pasaulį labai didelis titulas. Ir čia turbūt po UFC, čia po UFC yra didžiausia, ką galima laimėti. Ir žinot, mes dirbam jau daug metų su Donatų Uktvariu. Ir čia tiesiog svajonė tapo realybė, vienas iš žingsnių. Ir, žinot, čia kažkas nepapasakom, paprasta mergaitė iš Lietuvos, kur net nebuvo lietuvių merginų iki štol. Šiu. Nu, eikit taip toli, tai čia labai daug ką man reiškia. Ir aš noriu priminti, papasakot vienus žodžius, 
kai aš buvau Japonijoje ir kovojau dėl savo pirmojo titulo smūgiajame Lietuvėjui. Mano treneris pasakė tokius žodžius, kurie man sukasi galvoj iš metų į metus per didžiasius mano kavas. Tu priklausai šitam pasauliui, tai ei kur nugalėk, vardant dėl savęs, dėl savo artimųjų, dėl Fighter House ir dėl manęs. Ir aš noriu pridėti kvieną eilutę, vardant tos Lietuvos.